Okay, today I'm gonna address a few problems with this drawbar. If you take a look underneath, what we got here, this hole here is one inch on both sides, the top and the bottom. This bar is about seven eighths inch thick. As you can see, the bar has a little bit of slop in here and the pinholes are three quarter. So what I'm gonna do to fix it, I'm gonna make two bushings with a one inch, a one inch outside diameter that will go into this hole and then a three quarter hole for the pin to go through. That should correct, you know, the slop in the pin area. The other thing I'm gonna do, I'm, I believe I'm gonna weld a piece of three eighths, another layer of three eighths steel on the top of this. Just what I'll do is I'll take a piece of three eighths a strip and weld it on here to bring up the thickness of this bar where it contacts. I'm not worried about the bar bending or breaking, but I do I don't want it bouncing around, you know, slapping around there. It was you know it was way too loose. So I'm gonna get going on that and I'll bring you back when we get some more progress done. This blue disc did a really nice job of stripping the rust off without really grinding into the metal. And after I finished with the disc, I took some phosphoric acid and sprayed it on there, let it sit, and wiped it clean, and it removed all the rust. to get my travel speed right in the beginning I was I was jumping next time when I do this I'm gonna sand the surface down a little smoother so that the torch will go a little bit easier once I got slowed down it was cutting a lot better so I'll do a little grinding cleanup should be good Okay, right here I'm getting ready to drill the hole for the pin to go through. Whenever you're drilling a hole in a long piece of metal like this, since the drill bit is spinning clockwise, you want to always have your part braced up against the shaft on the drill press. This way if the bit grabs the part, it's stopped, it can't spin around. If it was on the other side of the post, it could actually spin around and slice you open. Okay, this is what I've gotten done so far. I've cut out a, my spacer piece out of 316 steel. I've bored a one and an eighth inch hole to give me plenty of clearance around the pin hole here. This other hole I'm probably never ever going to use because it would make the draw bar stick out too short. You know, these are kind of universal pieces, so I, I just I just don't foresee me ever using this. So I'm not even going to bother drawing a hole for that. If I ever have to, I can always come through and just drill the hole through. But next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the welder and I'm going to weld this piece onto here. I had left a room for the weld to go in here. That's why I cut this a little bit more narrow than the actual width of the bar. This way I'll be able to fill this all in with weld, grind it down, clean it up. Should be real nice. So what I'll do is I'm going to get it tacked on first, make sure it fits in the tractor, and then I'll fully weld it out.
Okay, have her all welded up. I think I like make better than take. This is way faster. So I got it, I welded a little bit over and I also welded up, there were some wear marks on here from where the draw bar was hitting the uh, stop bolts before. So I weld that up. Now I'm gonna grind this all flat so that this side is flat and make sure I kept the surface down. So I just need a light grind on the top. So only minor grinding, nothing major. And that should be uh, done on this part. Okay, I have this all cleaned up. There's a few little pit marks there where, you know, I probably should have did two passes to really build it up before I ground it down. But considering this is going to be underneath the tractor, I really don't think it's going to matter. It's definitely not coming off. And the main purpose of this was just adding a spacer. So I have my sides ground down. Everything looks good. So now I guess I got to turn the lathe on and start making my bushings. Okay, here's my bushing I made. It has a three quarter hole through the center. The outer diameter of this first step is one inch, and then this is about an inch and a quarter. I'm gonna pop it in and see how she fits. Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but this bushing goes into the top similarly to this. So this will drop in here. There's a little bit of play so it won't bind up. And as you can see, it's flush on the bottom. That should take up the slop in the pin. So now all I gotta do is make another bushing for the bottom. So let me go get the pin and figure out the length of the bushing needs to be for the bottom. Okay, I have the pin in my first bushing. We're gonna see if we can't kind of figure out a length that this will be for this. Let me see if I can get you set up. Get my top bushing in. And my pin. Okay. And the bolt. I have about an inch from the bottom of the uh, bar to here. So I think I'm gonna, what I'll do is I'll make my bushing a little bit under an inch long. This way it'll sit up inside here, take up the slop of this pin, and it should correct any other issue. Other option would be get a different, a shorter pin, but I'm thinking for right now, this is a hardened pin, which is what you'd wanna use in this scenario. So I think I'm going to reuse this pin. It's only hanging out three quarters of an inch. It's not really the lowest thing on the tractor. So I'm not too concerned about it, it hanging down. Other thought was to drill the hole higher in the pin, but I think I'm just gonna make my uh, thing one inch long, my bushing one inch, and we'll go from there. Okay, this is my lower bushing that I come up with. I ended up using a piece of uh, galvanized pipe that was like perfectly sized. It saved me a lot of uh, time on the lathe. So I'm gonna drop our pin down. Slide this over here. And pop our, well then, okay. Now we got a much tighter fit up back here much happier with that it was real sloppy before now it's locked up nice and tight is it going to matter probably not but does it make me feel better sure does so we're going to just roll with it and i'll uh get this all painted when we paint the uh front wheels because then it'll be the same color i'm going to paint this the same color gray all right thanks for watching